Today I will be showing you how to enable SSL protection for a shared certificate. Contact your hosting company and work with them to get a certificate installed. You may need to purchase one. In your browser, go to your site using an HTTPS colon slash slash address. If it doesn't work, don't try to enable SSL in your ZenCart. Step one is to back up your ZenCart files. Look for our video tutorials on backing up your ZenCart if you don't know how to do this. Log into your web host cPanel and click on the file manager icon. Navigate to the includes folder and click on configure.php. In the right hand frame click on change permissions. Change the permissions to 777 and click on the change button. Click on configure.php again. In the right hand frame click on edit file with code editor. This is a PHP file and must be edited in a plain text editor. If you try to edit this file in any type of WYSIWYG editor, the code will be corrupted and when you insert the file back into your ZenCart, it will break your entire site. Click on the Edit button. On or around line 21, change the false to true, being careful to keep the single quotes intact. Click on the Save Changes button. Go back to your file manager and click on configure.php. In the right hand frame, click on Change Permissions. Change the permissions back to 444 and click on the Change button. Navigate to Admin. Includes folder and click on the configure.php file. In the right hand frame, click on Change Permissions. Change the permissions to 777. Click on the Change button. Click on configure.php again. In the right hand frame, click on Edit File with Code Editor. Click on the Edit button. On or around line 36, change the false to true. And on the next line, 37, false to true. Be sure to keep the single quotes intact. Click on the Save Changes button. Go back to your file manager and click on Configure PHP. In the right hand frame click on Change Permissions. Change the permissions back to 444 and click on the Change button. SSL has now been enabled for the admin and store. Clear your browser's cache and cookies. You may also need to restart your browser. Thanks for watching. Contact us for all your web design projects, large or small. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about all of our new Easy Help video tutorials. Until next time, bye bye!